This week on Scam School, we're playing with matches. No fire though. This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy. Welcome to the show that would be ashamed to be caught lying. All the way to the bank. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Howdy folks, my name is Brian Brushwood and this week we have not one, not two, but three quick and easy challenges you can do with the book of matches. Let's head on over to the handlebar and see Diamond Jim Tyler. Grant and Danielle, we're gonna learn like a buffet of amazing match tricks and to make this happen, I brought one of my best friends in magic, Diamond Jim Tyler, all the way down from Dallas to blow our minds. Take it away. Most people that know me know I'm known for my slot of hand. Yes. And I'm gonna show you a little of that, but uh, check out the matchbook, just to add a matchbook. Magicians, we have very uh, strong fingers because we're always yep. palming cards and coins and things like that. We have to develop muscles in our hands that most people don't even know they have. Sure. And so I've developed this uh, strength in my fingers. It's kind of uh, almost superhuman. Finger again. strength, huh? Yeah, so let's see if I can do this. Just ah! <laughs> Daniel's response was amazing! Dude, that looks awesome! That is awesome! Alright, keep it going. What else you got? Alright, what else we got? Well, I just happened to have another pack of matches. Have you ever heard that a match can burn twice, but actually three times? I heard it. Yeah, three times. Let's see if I can uh, show you with this, these matches here. Um, let's do this with the matches. We're gonna tear out a match. Take the match, and this is gonna light it once. Okay. That's once, yep, it's burning. But through magic, what's interesting is you can take it and you can just vanish it at your fingertips, which is kind of interesting. But it doesn't vanish for long because it actually reappears back inside attached. Oh my Look at that. God. Inside. Oh, that's, that that's, is crazy. It's a permanent part. All right, that's once. That's okay. once. I'm still waiting for the part where you've lighted it. That's you. twice. Ooh. Screw you. Have you ever seen a match burn three times? <laughs> Watch, no here's way. three times. I know, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> the hilarious. Burn the host. All right, you said you had three match tricks, and I'm not going to count physically burning me as an awesome trick. Okay, all right. Well, this is a, kind of a riddle, but a riddle that you know the answers to. Okay. I'm going to take out three matches, light them on fire just because I can, and we need a little uh, money wagered on this. Do you have any moolah on you? A little cash? You're such an ass. <laughs> like how much money do you need? As big, much as you got. The big ass. Money. Ass. Oh. Total ass. In there? So I'm going to ask you uh, three questions. Okay. You have to answer all three questions correctly, or I get to keep the hundred. Okay. Now that doesn't seem fair on the face side. I was about to say, <laughs> no one just does. Yeah. But what if I told you the answer to all three questions? Okay. Right now. Well, what do I get? Do I get like a beer or something? I'll match the hundred. All right. Woo! Right on. All right. And when you say match the hundred, that's not like that's code for using matches to light my hundred on fire. No, no, no. I'm okay. not going to light the bell on fire. But the answer to all three questions is three burnt matches. All right. If you answer with any other reply, that is incorrect. Did I fail? I could okay. not be any more clear And then you that. get the hundred. That's right. Okay. So make sure you answer the three questions correctly. If I answer all three correctly, just give me a beer. Okay. All right, I'm ready. First question. Yes. Let's say you had a sore throat. No medicine would help soothe it. What would you swallow? Three burnt matches. Okay. I'm not actually going to swallow three burnt matches, okay. but that's why. Let's say you had your key stuck in the door. You couldn't get the key out. What would you use to help you get the key out? Three burnt matches. Very good. Third and final question. Right. Think about this carefully. What would you take and trade for that $100 bill right here? <laughs> <laughs> Remember a non-response or a wrong response. Three burnt matches, and you ass. Thank you very much. At least give me my beer. <laughs> I'll buy you a beer. All right, I want to know how these are done. I'm pretty sure I know that last one. But uh, first, uh, toast me. What I love about a collection of tricks, especially in a flurry like this, is that it proves that sometimes less is more. You don't have a big setup. You're not asking people to memorize all their cards and all this stuff. You just get in, you blow them away and you get out. Speaking of less being more, our friends over at GoDaddy, one of our oldest sponsor, is now having the cheapest .com domains I've ever seen. $2.95 for a legit ass .com domain. Just use promo code SCAM295 at checkout. You'll get a $2.95 domain. We'll look amazing and you'll be keeping us swimming in those free beers. Let's learn how these are done. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. Are you guys ready to become actual freaking wizards? I hope so. Of fire <laughs> in match form? All right, walk us through these. I'm going to guess that you did not actually pierce with your kung fu no, powers. There's no trick to that. <laughs> 
No, uh, there is a little slot of hand involved, but there's a lot of misdirection. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll prepare a matchbook, and the easiest way I found to do that is when I open the cover, I'll take like a ballpoint pen, stick through it, just through the cover, and I'll take something bigger, like a Sharpie to stick through it to make the hole bigger, because your finger has to go through this. Right. And then I'll push the Sharpie through the back, I'll put a few match heads through the thing just to dress it up, just to make it look interesting, and then close this up. And then run your finger through there and make sure you can get your finger inside. And so my guess is, is you had that pre-set up? It was yeah, so this finger. is, what I did is I started off with it just here, off to the side, because I didn't want to start off with it in my hand, because a lot of times, hey, how you doing? You don't want right. to shake hands with this thing on someone's right. hand. So I'll let them check out the matchbook, make sure it's what it appears to be. by the way, be. I love the fact that like you're not making a big thing about you know palming or anything. Like like all you need to do is keep it to keep it concealed yeah. in your hand is rest your hand on something and yeah, you're just, covered, right? Yeah, just rest my hand right in your lap. Yeah, right on. So they inspect it and then explain to us the visual illusion. Like this throws up. And yes. Then... So basically what I do is while they're checking this out, this goes onto my left hand onto my index finger. Right. And this is just out of sight. Now when I pick this up. You want to make sure it, it's kind of flat, straight. You don't want to, you know, kind of toss it in the air. Right. Because what's going to happen is as I catch this in the air, I just bring this hand forward. I'm going to catch it with these fingers. Man, see, that, that cognitive illusion is so good. You want to throw it straight in there. It looks so good, looks right? Good. All right, here, Danielle, you try it. So you want to watch your oh, angles. Oh, man. OK, I'm left-handed. Right. Is that going to matter? You're going to, pre, you're going to preset it, stick okay. your finger in. All right, so there's that. And it seems to me like the more you have a punchy action, like like a hi -yah, you know, just real fast and precise. Whoa! And, just, and keep your fingers closed okay. and around it. Yeah, just right. to mask it. Do it one more time. That looks really, really good. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, nicely nice. done. That looked good. And what I love is, of course, all the attention is on this. Yes. So even though you have this monkey paw on like clutch, so right. everybody's looking. And I'll show you a nice cleanup. So once this is here and this is on your finger, okay. as I come back, this can fall into my lap, the matchbook. Oh my god, I didn't even. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow. All right, and skipping the last gag from the thrice burned match, uh, talk us through the rest of it. Okay, so what you'll need to do to prepare the match burns thrice is take a black Sharpie marker. Yep. It's best to use a full matchbook, and I'll just simply color one of the heads of these black. Aha! Wow, that's easy. Well, and we've covered uh, versions of what they call the homing match, the idea that a, that a match vanishes and then comes back into the pack of, of matches. And in this case, I, I assume if, if it's like the other ones, the move is that you, you pull yes, down yes. and you pinch it yes. like that. One of the things I always did when I did this was make sure to put creases on the other matches as well to sort of hide the fact that when they see it later, they all have creases in there, so it's okay. not so it's weird. Not as obvious. Yeah. that to be in there? Yeah, yeah. So basically, when you open this up, your thumb just pulls this back okay. to hide it. They see the matchbook, and then you can flip this up, and I'll tear out a match, close the matchbook, okay. shielding the black match, so you light it. And all you're doing is, as you're shaking it, as I get near the table edge, I let it go to the table. You just, oh, they're, they're still, so they're still small, you still small. Right? Yeah, but you sell it. You make it vanish at right. your fingertips. Here, go ahead, go ahead and practice that a few times. So I'm gonna have practice. Grant do it. What you want to do is you want to exaggerate your motions so you keep almost kissing this uh -huh. edge here. Remember middle school? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna come down, and then one of these times you're just gonna drop it, and, then, drop and, it. and, and it's one of those things that's it. close it's enough. Like yeah. There you go. You just time it right when it's down there. But it's not gone until you wish it to be gone. That's right. So you, and you can keep on doing and delay. That's hey, right. Hey, you did it looks it. really good. Also, you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I Perfect. Love it. Awesome. So that's when it comes back, and then the last part is. Uh, then it comes back. They see this and reappears like, inside, and that's an amazing moment when it's connected back yeah, inside. Yeah. So when you light it for the second time, that's a match burning twice. And then the joke is, you want to see it burn three yeah, times. The joke is for you. That's the joke. <laughs> All right. So those are two good tricks, and the last one I assume is just the play on words. It's just a play on words. You want to get money on the table. It's just something fun. Well, and that's the important thing is. Man, the trick is different when there's actual money on the table. Right. If you were to just, you know, like, uh, yeah, it'll be this, what will you give me for this ashtray? Doesn't have the same impact. The way that I like to use three burnt matches is when someone pulls a gag on me that I've never heard before, and there's no way for me to win this, I'll say, I'll play your game if you'll play mine. Oh, that's great. So it's like an insurance policy. Right. So if I lose the bet, 
then at least I have a way to win my money back. Yeah, because there's no way to lose three of our matches yeah. Yeah. unless you word it incorrectly. Right. Dude, dude, those are awesome. Thank you so much, Jim. Thank that was awesome. Much. Thank Here's you. to Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Now remember for these gags, variety is key. The fact that you have three weaker tricks all in a row makes for this medley where everyone gets caught up and there being something new over and over and over again. By the way, we want to give a huge thanks to Diamond Jim Tyler, so head on over to his website. And while we're at it, you and I should be friends at facebook.com slash If you like me, then why don't you like me so that everybody can like me. Don't forget to join us next week because we're going to be learning the Scam School Martial Arts Self-Defense by Running Away. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> it's, uh, um... Ooh, how are we? Yes. Um, Wait, is that like a failed high five? No, 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 no. That was, that was you, like, uh, calm down, Brushwood. Uh, yeah. Hilarious. Burn the host. <laughs>